it's uh, day one of NAM uh, 2016. We're here with Pete from uh, Strymon, and they've got a pretty interesting new product, which is the first of many, we hope, uh, in a Euro rack line. That's so correct, yes. The Generalissimo uh, forehead tape delay is our first Eurorack product. We've got a prototype here for the show, and uh, it's got a, a variety of cool uh, sound and uh, control features that uh, uh, will integrate into to, uh, Eurorack rigs, uh, uh, including at the heart of it as a, uh, just a, a very good sounding uh, tape delay based on our D-tape technology. The Generalissimo has four individual heads with individual playback levels and individual feedback switches. That is con controlled by a global uh, feedback control. Each of the heads has a different delay time that uh, is based on the spacing, which is also adjustable with the top toggle switch up there on the right. And yeah, that one. And uh, the, each head also has its own clock out signal for controlling other modules. So it acts as a clock uh, multiplier in a sense, or a divider by divisions less than one, where the, uh, the quarter note clock division comes from head four, and then the three subdivided heads uh, will have faster clocks. It also has the ability to be, uh, accept CV inputs uh, to control the tape speed, the uh, uh, sound on sound uh, uh, re-trigger, and uh, uh, as well as global clock in. And then uh, the playback, uh, feedback, and uh, spring reverb levels are also adjustable with CV. The, uh, one of the neat things about this module is the, the tempo and the tape speed are, are unlinked, they're, they're independent. So if we play, we can speed up the tape speed, but we can tap in a, that slower tempo. And without any artifact, there's the, uh, the, the delay changes, but the tape speed that the transport is writing uh, stays fast, so that means the artifacts and, and such uh, are determined by the tape speed. The other aspect of that is if I tap in a slow tempo and I reduce the tape speed, you'll hear the artifacts from the tape speed because the transport slows down, but now we've got a very long delay because we've, uh, we've decreased the tape speed by a factor of eight. So there, and conversely, if we tap in a fast tempo at a very slow tape speed, let's turn the feedback up here. And hold on. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, it'll self oscillate easily when you get the, uh, the feedback going. So it becomes, a, it becomes an oscillator in its own right. And it'll, it'll hunt and find the feedback frequencies that allow it to oscillate, so it's a bit of an unpredictable oscillator. We've got a feature that's a scale mode, which quantizes that. And, and can, it, uh, can it accept uh, bulk octave input? Um, we haven't uh, finalized the, uh, the range uh, of speed. Now, the other thing to think, to remember though, it's not, um, it's not an oscillator in a sense that it's giving you an exact pitch. It's finding the uh, resonant frequency in the feedback that'll accept it. So you might, let's see if we can get it to change, uh, change its tune here in the middle of a, of a, of a note. No, no, no. So there, by, by changing the filter, it changed, it changed the resonant, uh, the, the, the sympathetic uh, frequency. So it's a bit of a chaotic oscillator in the sense that as you uh, change the uh, parameters, you can get a variety of... Uh, so you'll be able to control that speed with a, uh, with a CV, but we haven't finalized the exact uh, interface and the, uh, the uh, kind of uh, calibration that, that that'll be done with. Um, beyond that, the spring, the spring reverb is independently controllable so that, let's get the input Absolutely. back in here. If we turn the playback down, now um, we, we just have an independent, uh, sorry about that if we're clipping. Um, 
So now we don't have a delay, we've just got the spring. Dry. And now a delay. Or both. Or just the reverb. So it's it's a, a really nice uh, spring module. It's a, a forehead tape delay with selectable. Oh, let, let's get some more um, of the you know patterns. Let's see. Let's slow that down. So that's classic dotted eighth and quarter. Uh, let's go. Uh, and it, you can change the feedback is independent of the playback. So. That's gonna sound different than, or if I put this guy. And then beyond that, uh, in sound on sound mode, it's a, uh, it's a full-featured sound on, sound on sound tape looping. It's not a, uh, a looper per se like you might find in the... Uh... Oh, that's playing back what we, that's playing back what we recorded a bit ago. Uh, it's, it's a sound on sound looper similar to what you'd find in El Capistan. Um, and you, it still has the ability to punch in and punch out. So if, if I, the tap uh, button becomes that feature, so I'll go... Then, uh, oh, I, I, I should have, uh, oh, I didn't tap back, sorry. Uh, but with with the ability to have the, oh, I didn't, uh, I, tape, tape head four is, I hope we're not getting too in depth there. Tape head four is the sound on sound uh, um, head. So it acts as the, the head that's gonna do the repeat. So you need to activate that uh, sound on sounds repeat on. So let's try this again. This is live TV. I sped it up. So let's uh, let's see if we can do something a little more uh, interesting here. So as the loop is playing, you have full control of it as well. And if we add, we can add. The rest of it is still active. So you can actually, on your loop also, you can uh, activate individual heads uh, to record to the loop. So it, it, there's like a lot of crazy possibilities. Let's, so this time we'll do the same type of thing, but we'll have, a, uh, we'll turn all the heads up. So we'll hear more repeats, but we'll just have the repeat, the, uh, we'll hear more delay taps, but we'll just have the repeat from the playback head. Uh, let's try this one. So all, all the playback and feedback is active. So as you can see from the, the, uh, the, the nature of things, it can get uh, take on a life of its own. And uh, you know, the, the final set of uh, you know, specifics of the implementation is uh, still being determined, but it's, uh, uh, it's pretty, uh, you know, we're pretty far along in, in the development of it and uh, excited about what, uh, what the uh, Eurorack community is going to think of it. So these, uh, these uh, row of knobs along, along the bottom is uh, the different artifacts that you can get on, on, the, on the delay, right? Yes, exactly, and I uh, didn't mean to forget about them, but, but they're the, the heart of our uh, D-tape algorithm, uh, these are the controls to uh, adjust the, uh, the, 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 the tape age, uh, you know, frequency con high frequency content of the, of the delay, the, the low cut, which is, uh, you can get very, uh, uh, you know, high pass repeats. A tape crinkle and wow and flutter uh, will uh, also add the artifacts of, of machine health into the, and, and tape health into the uh, into the repeats. So um, beyond its own uh, like sound on sound generating uh, things, that these these also remain active. If you're playing a sound on sound loop, it will continue to get uh, degraded by these uh, by these controls down here. So um, 
when are you hoping to have it ready by? Uh, I don't think we're announcing a proposed date at this point. Uh, we, we are working hard to uh, make it happen as soon as possible, uh, but I, I don't think we've even got a, uh, a, uh, a date that we're tossing out at this point. Uh, but, but as soon as we get more information, we'll, we'll have it posted up on our website, and, uh, and uh, so stay tuned. And uh, price, is that, is that still yet to be uh, uh, The price is, is going to be $5.99 US. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for, for stopping by. Thank you. Award-winning customer service. Fast, free shipping on most orders. Own the gear of your dreams today.